Hello, welcome to VIP Kid. I'm Teacher Gabby, and this is how I introduce myself to my students. I have a cute little whiteboard, which my writing's getting a little bit worn, but here's what I do. Say, hi, how are you? And they say, I am fine. If they don't, I prompt them. I say, I am fine. And then they go, I am fine. And I say, good job. I say, what is your name? And they go, hmm. I say, my name is Teacher Gabby. 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 And then I say, what's your name? And they go, hmm. And I listen, and then they say, my name's Harry or Henry. Sometimes I mispronounce the eight their name, so I have to train them so they understand how to say their name correctly, which is cool. If they don't understand what's your name, I point and say, Dino. Gabby, then I say their name. So it's really cool like that. So I wanted to show you a classroom today and I wanted to show you uh, one reward system I do use, which I can show you a reward system. And this is my Hungry Panda. So I look at them and the reward slide comes up on the screen and I say, okay, when you do a Good job! You get to feed the panda! Yum, 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 <laughs> Yes. All right, now I've been doing, let's, let's find a star! Find a star! And then they go, hmm. Some students don't know what I'm talking about. I'll say, pick a number. Pick a number. And then they like, I say, look, pick a number. And they're like, then they start getting into it. Then I'm like, four, five, six, three. And I'm like, okay. If they don't get it, I help them. I say, hmm, what can we do? Do, 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 do. I'm like, okay, let's see what we go get. Oh, go to number five. <gasps> it's a dino. Good job. Now, a lot of my props are from the Facebook page of VIP Kid Props and uh, videos. And I would recommend going there. Um, I don't generally use Facebook for anything but my props and some crafting, which I've done, which I have done and which I do. So I usually get like uh, ideas from there or groups or, you know, things like that. And there are a lot. I really like the VIP Kid Props and Video Facebook page because it's a great community. And um, you get cool props like this. And um, you can get the link, and it will go take you to a Google um, Google Drive, and you can attach it to Google Drive to yourself if you have a Google account. So that was just a little bit, and I can probably talk to you through a mock test, which I'm gonna show you some old mock slides that I do have. So I will look at that sometime, and I'm gonna show you around um, one of the classrooms, and. You can see the classroom, and we'll talk about what we see. Okay? So, okay, so this was my classroom. It's pretty much simple. I use, um, let me see. I have, uh, this is a room divider. It's a white room divider, and I've just decorated it through the past year. I've decorated it a lot. And, um, I sometimes do cool, um, decorations for the holidays for the season some teachers go crazy I have my name here it's a little hard to see I have written it here on my whiteboard which I love this which I'm so gonna show you where to get some of this stuff so I'm going to do that for you and you can follow me at the end of the video you can follow me on my Instagram page on uh, Twitter and um, let's see where else can you follow me and on my blog so definitely look into that and um, I'll help you later I'll show you some TPR for the letters and sounds of the letters so um, 
So that was it, and today I'm going to now let you see a tour of one of the classrooms. Are you ready? So here we go. Okay, everybody, I'm here, and I'm in actually my particular, this is my VIP kid. Um, this is a PC app, and um, this is my classroom. My show name is Gabrielle F. And let's see. Um, here is the home, and you can see how many slots I've had, how many no-shows, how many cancellations, how many PPT slots you've done, and uh, how much uh, feedback you've gotten from the parents, and how often you've timely submitted your uh, feedbacks, which you try to submit them within uh, the last few minutes of class uh, or two hours after class because I do them after I do all the classes so I then go forward and do them all after two hours of classes so here I'll show you around the app this is the PC app a lot of teachers are mixed on it I'm okay with it so we have the Academy uh, link which I'm going to show you here this is where you uh, uh, study other um, do you call them courses or uh, new curriculum that comes out uh, you also learn about workshops and how to schedule workshops technical issues uh, you learn about all the curriculum in this and even more I mean it's amazing what all the material they have to offer this is the bookings page this is something I sort of wanted to know before I had gotten to VIP kid and I like to understand how it works. It used to be totally unlocked all the time, but there were some issues going on. So they decided to make an unlock and lock button, which really does help you if you're not careful on clicking the time slots. I can show you how a time slot works. Um, this is for tomorrow. So I'm going to show you. So this block is finished so these are the, my finished courses and when a class is over it's always going to say finished so that is a great clue that the payment has gone through and that the class has been completed okay or you've missed your class and it was a teacher no show one or the other so let's see so I'm going to show you how this opens so you can open this slot this is the open slot now you see the time if you press this little tick, you can then, now it's going to be booked within 24 hours. So you saw the reminder go across the screen. So you, that is how that works. And then you can close it. You click it again and it's closed. So this is sort of what it looks like. Uh, it's always changing. It's always changing. This is where you have some bulletins that go through, which is awesome. The operation log is a new feature. It just shows you what has been closed or open. And it keeps track of that. I don't look at it too often. It, I, it didn't matter much to me that. Thing. So um, this is also the classroom. So you can go back here and you can watch any other classroom uh, that you've been to. You can review notes and class in student info, look over UA reports, etc., etc., etc. You can only do UAs on the Teacher PC app, or you can do them uh, basically online. You can't do them via phone or any of the apps on the phone at this point, or on your iPad. Stats page is pretty cool because um, you can see what your participation is, how many slots you've opened, and what your feedback is. So that is cool too. Uh, payment, we're just going to quickly go past it. This is basically what I'm doing for the month. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty good pay, and I'm not done with the month of May yet. This is the feedback area, which is really, really awesome. Uh, the students right, the parents right, even not the students. This is my referral area, which is really cool. And then it sort of took me someplace else, so I'm going to press home at the top of the page. So this is basically that. I'm going to take you now into a classroom so you can see what a classroom actually looks like. You can get into a classroom two ways. You can click the classrooms or you can click bookings. So I'm just going to click bookings for now because I'm just going to go in and go to my first class in the morning. So this is what this looks like. You have the student info and then you press go to classroom. So here we go. Okay. Welcome to the VIP Code classroom. This is loading. 
uh, you want to see this entering. Uh, if nothing shows up, there is a problem, and you need to figure out what's going on. Uh, it could be a cache issue. It could be anything going on that's causing the issue. Uh, I'm going to open my camera so you can see me. Okay, this is me from the VIP Kid uh, app. Say hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to close it. So what you do is, if this is the old classroom. I don't have a new classroom right now. But um, this is the old classroom. You can upload from Docs. You can upload your own personal a slide and or PPT, whatever you feel. Okay, and then this is actually one of the lessons. I'm just going to put up the front page for you. Uh, I'm not going to show you the lesson because it's copyrighted material. So I'm just going to leave it on that for you. And so you go through the lesson. You can flip the pages with this little button right here. And this is where the student is up at top. It says nobody is here now. Yeah, nobody is here now. So um, it actually hears me. They record you in the classroom. Uh, I don't know when it exactly is totally recording, but they do record you in the classroom. So beware, you are recorded at all times. So make sure you like, have a headset with a mute button. <laughs> that really comes in handy. So this is part of the classroom. You can find uh, there's some info at the top of the page, which you don't always see when you scroll down. So there's some info at the top of the page. And this is the contact fireman button. That is in case you have an issue. We also have a headset, which I use quite often because it helps you like get their attention a little bit faster. Switch lines is a newer feature, and you can switch from line one, two, or three, and it helps with unstable internet, but usually I just ask the fireman and let them do it because it just computes the student. FAQ, uh, when you're first getting started, you may want to use FAQ because it gives you a uh, troubleshooting guide and Chinese phrases to parents in case there's an issue going on. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, it skipped for me, so I have to go back to the classroom. Okay, so anyway, we also have the info button. The info button tells you about previous teachers and what the other teachers do felt about the student and how they're progressing. Then we have the tools button. We have refresh the classroom or switch the port. And you might want to consider both of them. If there's an issue in the classroom or something isn't loading, please press refresh classroom. It will do this. It's going to reload the classroom for you without leaving the classroom. So yes, this is what's happening. And I'm going to uh, and you always have to press this OK, I see button because it locks up the classroom itself. So here we go. I'm going to reopen my window. And let's see. So now you'll say that class is over. Class is over. So it's goodbye now. So I can put up the goodbye slide. You have this cool jump the page thing here. So I'm going to go to page 25. And... Let's just pretend class is over. Okay, so goodbye. Goodbye. And my student says goodbye. And I say, Dino says goodbye. And then I laugh. Okay. <laughs> so then it's over. So what you do now is you're going to close your camera. And if you have a microphone, you're going to mute the mic. So because if, you're, if it's your last class of the day, you can now fill in your feedback. So this is what you need to do after every class. Okay, so actually it's not going to let me show you the feedback because uh, it's not 10 minutes into class, so it's locked up. So uh, next time I do have feedback, I want to take a picture, but basically it's uh, the student's progress. I might be able to show you an old feedback from like, uh, I had UAs all today, so let's see. What can I show you? Um from the other day. Ah, I can show you my student Sophie's feedback. So I'm going to go here and this is Sophie. So this is sort of what it looks like. You have, how did your student do today in class? Okay, well, um, this is what you do. And then you have your tips for the next teacher. And then you tell, you tell basically the same thing. And then you uh, 
say the level of difficulty. Then you do suggest adjustment to the student's placement. That depends on if they're really, really struggling, then you decide on what you want to do. And then you want to then look at academic performance, and then you have to tick these, all these off, or it won't let you submit it. So you really have to consider this while doing the feedback. So this is basically what I've shown you today. So I hope you enjoyed the little uh, tour of VIP Kid. I hope to show you more in detail another day. But I thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you all later. Bye now.